If there's one motion design technique that applies to everything, it's easing. It's what gives objects their wobble, their bounce, and makes rigid lifeless animations like this feel more natural and real like this. So let's look how we can liven up your motion graphics with easy. Let's jump into all the theory with a bit of animation 101. The basics of animation is having a property, be it scale, rotation, position, whatever, and then setting keyframes for two values at two different points in our timeline. As time progresses between those two keyframes, the value changes in a process called interpolation. If we graph how the value changes over time, we can see it creates a straight line. But if we watch the actual animation, it seems very rigid and unnatural. That's because objects in the real world don't move like this. Weight, inertia and resistance all influence everything around us. And so to make our animations feel more natural and more real, we need to emulate what these forces might do to our graph. This is where the power of easing comes in. Easing changes how our value changes over time from simply being a straight line. It warps it, kinks it, so that even though our value is still traveling between the two keyframes, the results are a lot more dynamic. When we talk about easing between keyframes, we have three options. We can either ease in, which only affects our value as it moves from the first keyframe, ease out, which affects the value as we reach our second keyframe, or ease in out, which combines the two. You can see how each changes our graph in a different way. The second half of our terminology for easing usually references the shape of the graph. There are many ways to describe this and most do the same sort of thing, so understanding exactly where these names come from isn't all that important. However, there are three that are worth noting. Back is when the value goes slightly over the intended value and then returns. You can see it gives the line a little bit of a hump. Elastic, also known as overshoot, is similar but has a decaying element to it. It gives this nice wobble. Finally, bounce is pretty self-explanatory. Think of a ball. It's hitting that hard value and then bouncing away from it in a decaying fashion until settling on that final value. Now all of these can apply when easing in, easing out, or both. Practically, there's a number of different ways to create easing in Adobe After Effects. The easiest of these is right-clicking a keyframe, going to Keyframe Assistant, and selecting one of the Easy Ease options. The second is using the graph editor and using it to manipulate the line between two keyframes. There are two types of graphs, a speed graph and a value graph. You can use the speed graph to influence the speed of reaching particular values on your graph. The value graph is where you can manipulate the actual values. Have a play around and see how changing values influences your animation. Another way of easing beyond easy ease and using the graph editor is by adding additional keyframes to add in some dynamics, such as keyframing an overshoot or bounce animation yourself. This method often gives you quicker control over the look of the resulting animation, but isn't always as clean and as accurate as other ways. Finally, applying expressions or scripts to your animation simplifies the easing process again. Dan Ebert's Motion Scripts site has some great expressions for bounce and overshoot and goes into much more depth with how to use them. The link to that page is in the description below. Additionally, one plugin I use a lot of is Mr. Horse's Animation Composer that gives access to a number of easing options for position, rotation, scale, etc. with simple controls that saves me a lot of time when I'm working on a project for a client. Saying all that though, the best tool really is your own eye, as you can tell what best suits your needs for your animation. So that's an overview of easing, the different types there are and the different ways you can apply them to your animations. Visit easings.net for a quick reference to the various types of easings there are, the link is down below. And leave a comment with your favourite one or ones that you use. Until next time, my name is Bench, thanks for watching.